Right then, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Bit of Kadelka. As you can see, we've moved a little bit forward from where we once were. Um, not far, we've only really just gone down the corridor. Now, I have actually looked up several times about how to do this bit. And it's telling me to do it exactly the same way I'm trying to do it. It's telling me that I will investigate Patrick's secret library. Um, so, I don't know, I mean, it kind of means that we're going to be walking around trying to do stuff and see if it works. I don't know whether we should have jumped the gun, gun on um, going to get the acid or whether you know it's a game of having an epi but I always sort of got the acid as in my own because I've had it so got a jeweled ring. <laughs> Giggity. I did throw out the bolt, didn't I? Ah! Are we doing it? Is this it? I know it's here! I, I saw it here! I put it here! Uh, what? Uh, have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. 
research journals. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Well, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. Yeah. A cauldron. The Branwyn Tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But that's so frightening that Personally, if Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigrant document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. <laughs> I had given up discerning the impossibility of fusing the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. And moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oftentimes speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them a puppeteers. <laughs> Exploiting the human body as an object. If so, then we Yes, resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is in Possible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? That is a very complicated question, since it already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. It is not absolutely impossible. But I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If if we oh, that throw is arm. that the into a cauldron, crap that I've been carrying around since the first successfully destroy death. the roots of the tree death. of life. Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire. No. Or water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring forth an end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like Roger. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but Roger is uh, one of my favourite characters in all of video game history. Does that sound familiar? I, I can't think whether I've told you or not. Right, now can I do that thing? Oh, this game is so confusing. It didn't tell you anything. You know, believe it or not, once, uh, many moons ago when I was much younger and playing this game with my brother, uh, aha! That bit with the weights actually had us stuck for quite some time. And it was just because we hadn't re read the, uh, okay. Six stars that look like the lower. Dolls to be moved. Okay. Oh, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. 
Okay. No. 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 There's only four. Like, how many combinations can there be? <laughs> oh, that's simple. Everybody's got to be facing towards the center. Yeah. Got your freaking nation. I can't carry any more of this item because I'm fully equipped. Flashy screen, I never fixed. No, I didn't ever fix the flashy screen. Maybe I keep forgetting. Um, and then the only time I ever remember to do the flashy screen is I've done the videos at which point I tend to convert them and So I can do that and I'm like, oh yeah, it's supposed to be doing that. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Well, that's not good. Nice tweet. I don't know, you might have been tweet. Yeah, I might have just spot it. See, the battle music on this, I don't put it too bad, but it's no fun of that. become quite proficient with them and my battle strategy pretty much revolves around him using a spear um, but obviously now he can't use a spear yeah life w axe Say it, something's not right. Okay, 
So now we can go right into a room where there's nothing, forward into a room where there's nothing, or we can go left into the main church. I think we're going to first go right into a room where there's nothing, because... As with most games, nothing is ever an option. The life drinker. Yay! See? Told you. Nothing leads to nothing. The uh, life drinker is actually a sword. But, although well, it's very powerful. as you are going through the battle and obviously losing life as you carry on the battle is not exactly what you're after but you know it's part and parcel unfortunately so here we go here's a nice little battle and uh, I think we'll do this battle Oh, 
The thing is, what you should, what, what you should do, leading up to this point, is actually train all the people <laughs> use of a sword. I forget which type of sword that you can do. Oh yeah, typical, yeah, you, you start doing it and you play it. Catch you in the next part. Happy bye.